Hey everybody, my name is Angela Yonke and I'm a artist, a teacher, and a student here in Bozeman and I'm extremely excited to share some of my favorite drawing exercises with you. Uh, some of these drawing exercises can be found in a really cool book from the 80s. It's called Brain Gym. You can actually find it for free on the internet, parents. And these uh, are some really good activities for when you're having a tough time, like you're frustrated, you, your brain hurts, you just can't get past something that you're doing. This book and these drawing activities and physical activities really help you get unstuck. So they help you come back to focus, to calm yourself down, to really pay attention to your body and your breathing and help you get back to what you're trying to be doing, okay? So if you wanna take a look for this on the internet, this is called Brain Gym. Did you know that you have two different halves of your brain and that each side of your brain kind of has different jobs that it does? What's really interesting about art and learning and doing problem solving is that when you're doing that kind of activity, both sides of your brain work together. And did you know that the left side of your brain actually controls what the right side of your body does and the right side of your brain controls what the left side of your body does? So anytime you can do activities that make both sides of your brain work together, you get better problem solving, you get better drawing, and your brain is working at its full capacity. So there's some things that you can do to help them work together. And one activity is to do some cross body workouts. And just like in drawing, we need to do a workout, your body needs to do a workout because whatever's going on in here and whatever's going on in here really affects the kind of work you're making and how you think. So let's try some cross body activities. Take your right hand and touch it to your left knee. Now do the other side and keep going. Now maybe change it up. Maybe do an elbow to your knee. You're working both sides of your brain and you're getting ready to draw. This is really gonna help us. You can also do some things like this and this and this. Any kind of dance moves that you can shift your body to working different sides of your body at the same time. Woo. All right, let's get drawing. So just like your body needs exercising and warm up, so does your brain. And you make better work when you've got your brain warmed up. So we're gonna do some activities that help you warm up your brain. And you're gonna need a couple of things. You're gonna need some paper. You're gonna need some pens and colored pencils or crayons, whatever you wanna draw with. You're gonna need a timer and you're gonna need something to draw. And I've got my little elephant buddy here, okay? so. Our first drawing is a timed drawing, and you're going to use whatever hand that you usually draw with and pick a drawing utensil, and you're going to start, you're going to draw anything that's lying around, any kind of objects. Maybe it's a toy, maybe it's a person, maybe it's something that you found in your room. I've got my elephant buddy here, okay? All right, so the first drawing, set your timer for 30 seconds, and... Oh, time's up. Okay, now you're gonna draw that same object, but in 20 seconds. So let's change our timer. Here we go, 20 seconds. Okay, faster, faster, faster. So now that one was interesting. When you time your drawings, your brain is forced to think quicker. And even though it doesn't look as much like my other elephant did, it gets the basic shape and I'm kind of just scribbling it in. 
and it's forcing my brain to do something of a challenge. All right, so are you ready? This time, 10 seconds. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's change our timer. All right, 10 seconds, and go. Oh my gosh, I did it! All right, so that's your first drawing activity. It's a time drawing and doing it with your right hand. Now your next drawing activity is to try that same drawing and there's no time restriction this time, but do it with your left hand or if you're left-handed, do it with your right hand. Are you ready? So take it from your dominant hand and go to your non-dominant hand and here we go. There's my elephant. Now something about your left hand, it really forces you to kind of slow down and really notice what you're doing and follow the outline of your object. And again, it's not going to look perfect, but we're, this is a, this is sort of like a warm up, like you're stretching your muscles. This is stretching your art muscles. And again, it's getting your left side of your brain to work with your right side of your body. I usually use this hand, so it's really practice at doing stuff. But when I am forced to use a different side of my body to do this drawing, my brain has to work harder and we're really challenging it. We're really stretching that brain muscle, okay? So look at that, I did one with my left hand. Okay, next, what are we gonna do? Now this time, I want you to look at your object for a minute. Hey buddy, yeah, looking good today, uh-huh. And study all of its outlines and its wrinkles and its corners and where it's dark and where it's light because in this drawing, you have to have your eyes closed. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Here's my elephant friend. There's no time restriction on this. I'm going to close my eyes and think about that elephant. You're checking me, right? Make sure I'm not looking. And you can have one of your family members check you to make sure you're not peeking. And here you're, I'm doing this on video so I can't, I can't, can't look. All right, here we go. Let's see how it turned out. Oh, not so bad. Looks kind of funny, right? But this is trying to work your recall memory. So recalling what you saw in real life and kind of drawing it in your brain and just feeling it out on the paper. This is a really great brain drawing activity, okay? All right, so we did one with our eyes closed. Great, what's our next one? We're going to do something called blind contour drawing. Now, it's not necessarily that we're gonna be closing our eyes. We're going to be not looking at our paper though, okay? So let's try it. And there's a couple of ways you can do this. So one is to take your paper or your sketchbook and put it underneath the table. And you get your object out and you look at it while you're drawing, but you're doing that drawing under the table. It forces you to notice every little detail that's happening and making your brain work in a different way than it usually does. And it's not gonna look perfect, but let's see what happened. <laughs> they come up with some pretty silly results. So that's one way to do blind contour. Let me show you another. One is to have your object in a place that's a little bit farther away and you're actually going to turn your body. So I'm gonna be facing this way 
but my paper is over here and let's see how our drawing turns out okay here we go Now I'm going a little bit fast, but I'd like you to slowly do this kind of drawing. The slower you go, the more details you're going to notice. Oh, hey, kind of different, huh? Interesting. All right, so that's when you turn to the side and don't look at your paper while you're drawing. Here's another one, which is kind of fun. You take your paper and you put it on top of your head and you do your drawing. So here we go. Here's, here's my elephant, and here I go. Ooh, kind of fun. All right, last blind contour technique is actually using a prop, okay? So you can find, I have, like I made bread the other day, I just took a cardboard box and I poked a hole in it. And it's big enough for my pencil or my drawing utensil to go through. Okay, and you put your hand, you can hold on to it down here and you draw your object, but you can't be looking at your paper while you do it. And the, the blind helps you block your paper while you're drawing. So here we go. not too bad not too bad and this one's kind of fun this one is definitely in our brain gym book but you need two different colors for this activity and this is called mirror drawing so you're gonna make a drawing using two different colors and you're going to do whatever you do on one side do on the other side at the same time. So I'm gonna do it in the air first so you can see. So if I was making a drawing, I could go like this and this, and it looks like as if you're doing a drawing with a mirror. Does that make sense? Let me show you how it works, okay? So you start your drawing anywhere you want and make sure that wherever you're doing on one side, you're doing the opposite on the other. Now I recommend going slowly because you want to keep the movements of one hand synchronous or going at the same time as your other. You don't want to get ahead because you're supposed to be doing the same thing with each hand but backwards. And this is definitely making your brain work. Let's take a look. Ooh, kind of fun. All right, I've got one more drawing activity for you. This one is definitely silly, but it is, again, trying to challenge your brain, which is what we're trying to do. We're trying to stretch that muscle of our creativity and our brain and make our bodies uh, do something that they haven't done before. So this one is going to be kind of fun. This one, I want you to take your drawing utensil. It could be your marker, your colored pencil, your crayon, whatever you're using. 
get an object that you want to draw. Here, I've got that elephant buddy again. And this time, take your utensil and put it in your mouth. And you're going to do this last drawing, drawing with your utensil in your mouth. Okay, so here we go. Pretty okay. It's a little bit wiggly, but that's okay. You're using your mouth, so why wouldn't it be? This takes practice. The more you do these different drawing activities, the better you're going to get. Practice takes perfect. Just like when you're playing sports or learning music, drawing is a skill that you have to practice and that you'll get better the more you do it. So thanks for coming to see my drawing videos and you learned some good stuff about what to do when you get stuck. Anytime you're frustrated or you don't know what to do next and you just can't, you're, you're just going crazy. When you're working on a problem, you can do some brain gym activities, you can do some drawing exercises and it'll help you get unstuck. I'll leave you with one last brain gym activity, and I think it's one that you know, and it's kind of silly, but it'll be like my goodbye wave for you, okay? So you start like this, you start by tapping your head, and as you're tapping your head, you're rubbing your chest or you're rubbing your belly, and this is, again, making both sides of your brain work together, help you calm and center yourself and get ready for your problem solving and feeding your imagination and creativity. Thanks for coming to see my videos. My name's Angela Yankee. Have a great day, everybody.